Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In this exercise series, we're going to be creating this highlighter. Let's get right to it. Let's go ahead by starting out creating a new component. You can go ahead and label it if you want. I'm just going to move on. All right, so let's start a sketch. Put it on the top plane. I'm going to use the slot tool, center point slot. Let's go ahead and give it some dimensions. Okay. The sketch is fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish it. All right. We need to create some construction planes. So what we want to do now is create an offset plane on this profile and we're going to make it about negative 72.5. All right. Now on that plane, we're going to create a sketch. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and hide the pre-existing sketch. And again, I'm going to go ahead and start out with the slot tool, center point slot again. I'm going to go ahead and dimension this one as well. All right, the sketch is now fully defined. going to do now is make this entire sketch construction geometry. All right. And what I did was just left click, hold and drag to the left. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do now is use the line tool, create a line across at the very top. We're going to go ahead and dimension this line. I'm going to make this line 17 millimeters. Okay. All right. We're going to mirror that line. Makes life easier for us if we need to make changes later. We're going to use this line is our mirror line. Click OK. Get this to snap to the left. That way we can see it all. All right, cool. OK. Now what we want to do is continue this profile because this is con construction geometry. We're going to use the three point arc from this point to this point. Make sure the squares show up, not the X's, but the squares. It'll snap into place right there. Square, square, snap into place. All right, cool. Now, what we want to do is use the concentric constraint and make sure we click on the solid arc. And then click on the dotted arc. And now that one's constrained. Same thing with this one. Solid. Got it. And now it's constrained. Okay. For this, we're going to need to do fillets inside the sketch. So solid line, solid arc. Make sure it's going to be two millimeters. All the way around four corners to make sure we select the solid one and just press left click and hold until you get your options left click and hold until we see the solid one okay and then click OK all right sketch is no longer fully defined 
So what we need to do is define it. Simple. For this top line, we'll use the equal as well as the horizontal vertical constraint. Excuse me, not the top, but the bottom one. Okay, that's fully constrained. All right. What we're going to do here is basically use the equal sign on this arc to that arc. Oh. Stand by. Actually, let's go ahead and dimension it. Just hit enter. All right, now it's fully defined. Now, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Now what we want to do is turn back on this sketch, the sec, the, excuse me, the previous sketch. And what we want to do is use the loft tool to join these two together. All right, select both profiles. All right, it's looking pretty much how we want it. These are looking pretty good. Change selection, tangent edges, new body, click OK. All right, hit Control-6 so we can bring up the lines. All right. Okay. What we want to do now is go to the very bottom. Create a sketch on the bottom face. Okay. And what we want to do is use the center rectangle tool. Let's zoom in here so you can see. Let's give it some dimensions. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use the arc tool. Center point arc going to put an arc on both sides to make sure that you're getting a square and you actually want to lock it in place to where you actually want it just go ahead and make sure the squares show up like so all right basically going to use the equal tool this is going to be equal to that one we're going to dimension just one of them we're going to make it 3.5 millimeters okay all right, now it's defined. Go ahead and finish the sketch. What we want to do now is extrude this profile inward. When we do that, it's going to send us to the cut operation. So we're going to type in negative 2.5. Click OK. All righty. Next, we want to go ahead and give the inside a couple of fillets. edges we want to make this a one millimeter fillet click OK I normally like to combine fillets into one but for this one we actually run into problems if we don't separate it so I'm gonna go ahead and use the fillet tool again we're gonna fill it the inside edge and the top edge we're gonna make that one millimeter as well however I'm going to set it to cord length. Make sure that that number is one again. Okay. And click OK. All right.
Okay. Now what we need to do is use the shell command to hollow this out. Inside, it's gonna be the operation. In thickness, we're gonna make one. Click okay. All right, let's give it a quick color. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and give it some lettering. I'm gonna create a sketch. The front plane, and rotate it again, so we can see what we're doing. With this, we can go ahead and hide the body all right, so let's start out with a construction line. We're going to make this about 70.565. Actually, we need to remove this constraint because we want to dimension this line to this point. Strain it, and we also want to measure it. Okay. All right. Next item of business is go ahead and create the text. And for this, we want the text to be on the path. And this is going to be our path. All right. So, what I did here. So for this, I used the aerial font. I made the height five millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and type in CAD jungle. Oops. Would have helped to take off caps lock, wouldn't it? Okay. All right. I made sure that the text was below the path. And I made sure it was vertical. And I centered it. All right, click OK. Finish sketch. Turn back on the body. Let's go ahead and extrude these letters. Select the profile on the letters. The starting point is going to be the object at the top. So we select the top. So 0 0.04 millimeters. There we go. Click OK. All right. Now we have the letters raised. The painstaking taking part of giving it some color. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Now we can do this a number of two ways. We can drag on each one of these letters, or we can just simply make sure we carefully select each letter. Select. Make sure faces are selected and then select it and drag to the ones you just selected and close. All right. And that does it for the first part. What that about wraps it up for this exercise. I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.